Hey guys, so you know that feeling when you're doing really well at something but deep down, you feel like you're just faking it. Well, here's a fun story to kick off this topic. Imagine Pebbles, a penguin, is attending a conference for birds. Pebbles feels like it doesn't belong there because it cannot fly like the other birds. It tries to fit in by waddling around and awkwardly flapping its wings, hoping no one will notice. But deep down, Pebbles is convinced that it's just a fraud and doesn't deserve to be among all these amazing flyers. But little does Pebbles know, it is unique and its perspective actually makes it a valuable member of the bird community. So Pebbles' uniqueness lies in its ability to adapt and thrive in different environments. Even though it may not be able to fly like the other birds, it is an exceptional swimmer and can navigate through water with incredible agility. Pebbles' presence adds diversity and enriches the overall dynamics of the community. So Pebbles is a highly valued member even though it may not be able to fly. So are you feeling like you're like Pebbles from time to time? If you are, it's okay because almost all of us encounter the dreaded imposter syndrome at some point in our lives. So here's five quick tips to help you deal with this challenge and thrive in your life. Tip number one, own your achievements. Don't downplay your successes. Be proud of what you've accomplished. Here's some examples of how you can own it. Instead of saying, oh, it was nothing when somebody compliments you on a project you completed. Instead say, thank you. I put a lot of effort into it and I'm proud of the outcome. Or share your achievements on social media without downplaying them. If you receive a recognition or an award, write a post that expresses your gratitude and excitement for the achievement. It is not boasting if you have done that awesome thing. Okay, tip number two, remember that everyone has their doubts. You're not the only one feeling this way. We all feel like pebbles at some point in time. Acknowledge, accept your doubts as a normal part of growth. Let's imagine a situation where you're pursuing a personal goal, such as running a marathon. Along the way, you may have doubts about your ability to achieve this incredible goal. Until I did my first marathon, I was totally terrified of doing it and didn't know if I was actually capable of it. After my first marathon, I went on to do more than over 20 marathons. When you recognize that doubts are a normal part of the journey, you can embrace them as opportunities for growth. Do share your insecurities with others in a safe space where everyone feels comfortable discussing their struggles and then can offer motivation and advice to each other. Tip number three, knowledge is power. So make sure you know your stuff inside and out. This will allow you to approach situations with confidence, make informed decisions, and effectively communicate with others. Having the right amount of knowledge can be a powerful tool in various aspects of your life, such as tackling an interview, presenting a project, starting a business, getting promoted, to be even thought of as a thought leader, and on and on. You get my drift, right? Ultimately, your knowledge provides you with a solid foundation to navigate various parts of your life successfully so you can feel less like a fake. Okay, tip number four. I want you to set realistic goals. When we set unrealistic goals that are beyond our capabilities, we are more likely to fall short and experience failure, making us doubt our abilities even more. Setting realistic goals doesn't mean you have to limit yourself. It's about being practical, understanding your abilities, and setting goals that are within reach. The end result is to avoid unnecessary frustration, boost our confidence, and overcome the dreaded imposter syndrome. Okay, last tip number five, embrace feedback. Don't see it as criticism. See it as an opportunity to grow and improve. Accept that you, don't, you won't be perfect. No one is, so don't put that kind of pressure on yourself. Don't forget to celebrate your wins, no matter how small they may seem. Take the time to acknowledge and celebrate your successes. So go out there, kick imposter syndrome to the curb, and show the world what you are capable of. I know you can, and I believe in you. If you like what I have to share today, please like this video below and subscribe to this channel. That's it for today, and I promise more awesome tips on how to live life boldly. I'm Susan Sayer, CEO and founder of The Koa Club. In this video series, we share tips and strategies on how we can have our best lives by being bold. Always remember this motto, I should, I can, I will live boldly. Until next time, see ya. Love is promised to you.